The Gates is uh, it's a cafe with it through the day, a kind of alternative cafe. You're in, in our little 1950s style diamond room here at the moment, and we've got a more of a Gothic style room through there and uh, our bar area. Also, we've got our, our chapel as well, so it's a place of worship as well as being a cafe. The Archbishop of Canterbury came along at the end of September when we were just uh, sticking the last few nails in the wall and uh, I think most of the paint was still wet when we walked through the door but he came and uh, had a look round and opened it for us which was nice. I think sometimes there's a perception that the church isn't welcoming to all groups and I think um, it's a little bit tongue in cheek but I think we wanted to create a name that made people feel that if they felt like a black sheep that this was a place for them and that they could come and that there wasn't any barriers in that kind of way to stop them coming into church. We have a, a mixture really, but quite a lot of college students and people who would uh, probably call themselves part of what you call the alternative culture, so people who are gothy, skaters, all that sort of thing. But people of all ages as well. People know, know what we're about, they're not all wanting to get involved in the religious side of it, as they probably call it, but, but we're building a lot of relationships and lots of partnerships with uh, other agencies such as uh, the local college, there's people working with uh, learning difficulties locally that we're pairing up with. Uh, we're doing some work with a project called Church on the Bus that you may have come across. Uh, they're doing some of their mentoring with people who, who are homeless who want to move out of that. Uh, they come here and use, use our facilities and we try and work together on stuff. There's all sorts of stuff going on really. I think mostly the people that we're, we're working with haven't got a clue what church is in the first place. People who haven't had contact with church in the past and, and but actually are searching. So so this is a place where they can come and kind of see what's going on. Um, but it's very slow, very early days. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I guess we're we're sat here as a, any other church in the diocese really. And I've got good relationships with people in the deanery and. Uh, uh, everyone's very interested in what's going on, not everyone particularly understands, probably including me because I haven't got a clue what we're doing, but I think that's part of the charm of it perhaps. <laughs> we can exist with, as, as a church that doesn't work within a parish, so we exist, well we do exist within somebody else's parish, uh, but, but not as part of that structure in the same way I guess. So it uh, uh, allows us to be established as part of the Church of England rather than just floating out there on our own, which is, is really nice to have that, that support and structure around us and for us to be able to give back into that community as well. Throughout the day it acts as a cafe. We're, at the moment we're trying to work on things. Well, I've got someone visiting in a minute actually from the college they want to do an exhibition and use, use the space to do their end of term ex exhibition for their, their graphics thing. Uh, we've got, as I said, we've got uh, people from the church and the bus coming in for a group of learning, uh, people who support people with learning difficulties who want to come in and use the place and uh, hopefully better work out some, some sort of church with them as well here. Uh, we have our monthly, what you'd call a Eucharistic service, if you want to describe it that way, where we, we meet in the chapel and uh, we, we, we have some community liturgy and then we come and eat here together and spend, spend the day together really as a community. Uh, every morning before we open up, we meet for, for a morning prayer as well, in our own kind of way. But yeah, I know it's interesting, and, and, and the community kind of exists on a, on a, on a wider scale as well. And we've got a, a dispersed order as well, which kind of interacts on the internet mostly. So we're trying, it's, it's very stable, we're trying to build up those resources as time allows. Unfortunately, a lot of my time is spent filling in paperwork and uh, writing to the council and filling their forms in and sorting out all the background stuff. But I'm hopefully slowly that will, as things drop into place, that will get easier. And more time can be planned into the interesting stuff. I've got a long background in church, and I come all packaged up with all my prejudices and preconceptions of what church should be. So when we come and say we're going to really try and listen to a community and try and do church for that community, it's, it, I find it quite hard because I, I want to have something that's quantifiable in a nice neat box that I can sit here and show you statistics and, and unfortunately life doesn't work that way. So at the moment we're, in a, we're at a time of listening and working out what works, trying things and when they don't work, they don't work and if they do work, we try and build on them. But mostly I'm building honest relationships so that we've got some sort of integrity in what we're doing I guess. The diocese has been really supportive. Uh, we've got a mission fund which uh, has been really generous towards what we're doing, and I'm um, spending time applying to different grant giving bodies to, to help us through the first stage of this. 
the rural community is so small, um, our giving isn't a huge thing and we don't want to turn this purely into a commercial uh, business really. If we, that takes a lot of the time already, so if we were spending a lot of time trying to make it pay in that way, I think we'd lose out on, on the spiritual side of things. So yeah, we're just we're working out on that, and uh, yeah, our projections for next year are looking okay, but not quite there yet. We'll see. When you've gone through a stage of establishing something, it's, in a way that's quite easy. You can just throw it all together. Now it's down to the how do, how do we go from gathering people to, to the whole discipleship and, and what's worship going to look like for this community? How how is it going to grow in that way? So just just that that continues to grow within us and around us and that things just continue in an organic way as they've started.